All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. What's up, everybody? My people in Manhattan, the Boogie Down Bronx, Queens, all at Staten Island, my home world, Brooklyn. And shout out to all my people in Yonkers. Back after another video. And today marks the 25th anniversary of the late, great DMX's second album, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood. It was released on this day in 1998, several months after DMX's debut album, It's Dark and Hell is Hot. This was DMX's second album to go number one making him the first rapper in the history of hip-hop, or I think the first artist in the history of music, period, to have two number one albums in the same year. And he, but he was the first living guy to do it, because Tupac did it in 96, but he, was passed, excuse me, Tupac had passed away by the time Machiavelli came out. So DMX was the first living rapper to do that. No, as Nas stated, in, back in 2013, 1998 was the year DMX took over the world. Two number one albums and a, a classic cult film, Belly. Belly, look, Belly is a, not a well-done film. <laughs> it's not exactly, you know, Pulp Fiction or Shawshank Redemption, but it's, you know, it's enjoyable. You know, if you like Nas, you like DMX, you know, I think you can sit down and watch it. But yeah, this is a great album. This is probably, this one, the, probably one of the greatest covers, album covers in the history of hip-hop. I mean, DMX in the tub of goat blood and actual goat blood, that shit, this shit's just wild. It's something, you, the first time you see it, you never forget it. But you know, DMX, I mean, this album was straight fire, man, from the Title track, Flesh of My Flesh, Blood of My Blood, to The Omen, featuring Marilyn Manson. I mean, Marilyn Manson on a rap album. You know, of course, probably the most famous song from this album is Slipping. Hey, I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. I'm slipping, I'm falling, I can't get up. Hey, I'm slipping, I'm falling. Just got to get up. Get back on my feet so I can tear shit up. You know, another song that I enjoy called Blackout, featuring The Locks and Jay-Z. This is also a very pivotal year for Jay-Z. He dropped Volume 2, Hard Knock. Hard Knock Life Volume 2 and the Locked debut with their Money Power Respect album. You know, Bring Your Whole Crew, which has some some of the like roughest, darkest lyrics I've ever heard. You know, I got blood on my hands and there's no remorse. I got blood on my dick because I fucked a corpse. I mean, <laughs> DMX, you know, he definitely helped mainstream horrorcore. That horrorcore subgenre was very popular in the 90s hip hop scene from the Ghetto Boys to Bone Thugs to Big L to 3 Six to DMX. You know, even Eminem, he, Eminem, like, that horrorcore shit was real popular in the late 90s, or the 2000s hip-hop scene. But anyway, I said, great album, all-time great album. Like I said, I've said this a million times, I know you people are probably tired of me saying this, but I'm going to keep saying it again. DMX, Outkast, and Kanye West are the only rappers in the history of hip-hop who could say, my first five straight albums are straight classics. I mean, it's just, I, I can't, what more can you say about this album? I really can't. Oh, oh, ready! And I, how can I forget? Ready to meet him. The song starts off with a prayer, and then the opening bars. You know, I'm ready to meet him because where I'm living ain't right. Black hate white, white hate black is right. Back to the same fight. The guy's suspecting a war, but the real war is to follow the law of the Lord. Lord, you left me stranded, and I don't know why. Told me to live my life. Well, now I'm ready to die, ready to fly. I cry, but I shed no tears. You told me you were dead. Those fears. It's been years. All time great, man. <laughs> Between, like for me, DMX or Nas, you know, like one one A greatest rapper of all time. And I know that may be controversial, but look, that's my my perspective. You know, this album helps further some of DMX's plays in mainstream hip hop as arguably the top rapper in the game at that point in time. And of course, it's after Big and Pac had passed. You know, this is like DMX, Jay. You know, he had he still had Nas. You know, Outkast. They were more known as a duo, so you can't really say. One person in particular was the top guy, but you know, of course, 98 was also the debut of Big Pun. Of course, Big Pun didn't have career didn't last that much longer, but it's very unfortunate. But it is what it is. But anyway, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. What's your favorite track from this album? Me, I mean, I really love the Blackout song with the locks and uh Jay Z, but then also I like the Ready to Meet Him song. That's probably I'll probably be my favorite one. But tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below. Don't forget to click the like button, subscribe. I'm gonna see you all.